Welcome back. I don't care what RV you get, it seems like there's always that one nagging problem. For this trailer of ours, we've had it five years, and it is the underbelly. I am constantly packing around with me this whole little Tupperware full of self-tapping screws and washers and all sorts of stuff because it is always coming undone. This will be the second time I've redone it, basically. I don't have enough material to do the whole thing, so I've stripped off the parts that had pulled out. Even with these big flat washers, still had pulled out. And we ordered some stuff to hopefully fix it the correct way this time. I don't know whoever came up with the idea of doing underbellies with this cardboard material that's used on basically every RV now, but it just flat sucks. And I'm too cheap to do all aluminum, so we'll just keep cobbling at it. What I've ordered is these long pieces of aluminum that'll stretch all the way across and help hold that underbelly up. They have a little bit of rigidity to them, and then on the top side, I'm going to have angle iron that I've already put in. So it should sandwich in that cardboard material between and not be able to pull through. That cardboard material gets wobbling and those washers just eventually pull up through it. It shouldn't happen with this. I don't know if you can see here this whole piece flapping down because I've already removed the pieces that were basically dragging on the road the last time we got home. And I cut those away. I think I can still use this piece I'd like to. And I'm going to actually bolt up the angle iron underneath because I've just been using self tapper screws to go up through it. But eventually with all the movement, they've been pulling out as well. So I thought if I bolt them in, then even maybe put some Loctite, help hold those into place, it might help the rigidity of the whole thing. But in the end, I'm just guessing here. So let's get underneath and get going on it. Jesse's always complaining that he's hitting his head while he's underneath the trailer. So this time we are trying to get him a few more inches clearance and blocking up the tires. It really helps. It makes a big difference. If you've ever wondered what the underbelly of your trailer looks like, it probably looks something similar to this. Just a whole bunch of nothingness. There you have your black tank up farther that you can't see. Up in, see, there's the black tank there. Then you're going to have your fresh water tank up there as well. Propane lines coming down, which is a pain with putting in the new underbelly. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You got some of your wires coming around. And then on the back end, just a bunch of nothing. Jesse is trying to pull out all the old <laughs> washers and everything. Yeah, all these old self tappers that pulled through. Just pull them out so that way I can get the board right up against the frame. Or at least that's the plan. And of course, none of them are the same. Yeah, they're all different sizes because I cobbled it together. So yeah, he's... You do one and then you find the next one. Yep, tons of fun. It's a great core workout down here doing sit-ups. Early the next morning. So we're on day two. Last night we ran out of light, so I'm just finishing up uh, some of the last drilling. Then I hope I can get the underbelly cut and start screwing it into place. That'll be the easiest part. Drilling up through all the still and stuff just isn't the easiest. I burn up a few bits now, and so now it's getting tougher and tougher. So just a lot of drilling. I think everything's prepped underneath. Now it's just time to cut the belly board and put it in. Hopefully that's all that's left and then I'll put the extra bracing across to try to sure everything up and fingers crossed we won't have these problems again. So here we have the belly board. I'm just going to cut out a piece to put in there. 
it'd be really handy if Kara was around to help hold this, but a little bit of a solo mission. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, Jess is hard at it. Once again, he is on his third evening <laughs> trying to get this all fixed up. Um, he is pretty much got all the board up in place. It's just getting the trim pieces tacked up to help support the belly board. Hey, Kara. Yes, Jesse. Where's my razor knife? I think I might have set it on the outside over here. Your razor knife? Yeah. Let me find it for you. Oh, found it. Right where you left it. Yep. <clears throat> Cutting these propane lines in is kind of a pain. I mean, I did my best when to guess where they'd come out, but having to move them around a little bit, I'll probably have to tape around this because I have a few extra holes or whatever, but I never claim to be a professional. It's one of those you get what you pay for and I didn't pay anything. So to show you what he is doing, if you can tell, he's got this trim piece right here that he's been reattaching in to the framework. And he's gone all the way down this side. He is gonna do some cross bracketing as well to help with all this gapping. Yeah, if you see where those washers and bolts are, this thing moves so much under here that it eventually pulls the washer up through the belly board. So I'm hoping with this metal stripping, it can't pull that through. At least that's my intention. It's just one of those things we've been fixing since the day we got it. you hand me one of the, my Tupperware full of bolts? Um, is there one with a little washer on it? Or is there a little washer in there? I think I see one right here, a little washer. Right here, is that a little washer? Or is that a little grabber head thingy? Grabber. Yeah, I prefer that little washer. All right, so I'm gonna have to have you hand me my Sawzall. I wish I had a shorter Sawzall blade, but you use what you have. This is what we're meaning by the washer is literally pulling through the belly board. This is the belly board in a perfect little <laughs> washer shape. There you go. Good enough for who it's for. All right, Jess is telling me he is needing pretty much one last piece. Final piece, I think, at least for now. 
This will be the piece going across the seam right there. Holding this all up in place. I'll have a little excess here that I can probably actually just trim off with my razor knife. Um, so I don't have as much, but. Perfect ain't cheap and I'm free, so it'll work. And then what other finishing things, well, what other finishing things do you need to do? Um, I need to rehook up the propane stuff. Make sure that's all good. I probably should have tested for propane leaks before I put the belly all up, but we'll see. <laughs> we will find out. If we don't wake up in the morning, we'll know. And then I need to tape everything. So we have some underbelly tape and just go through and really tape the heck out of it. And I think this is a much better fix. I would like to get some more of this. I probably have Kara order some. And then I can do these cross members here before these pull out. But they've held for quite a while. And this shouldn't move nearly as much with all this on it. So that can be done another day. It is is what it is for now. So you can see how this, well actually this one fell out. The, um, the self tappers we've used, this one here got bouncing stripped his way out somehow or vibrated out or whatever. Um, that's kind of what had happened all throughout the centerpiece. So I'm hoping that this with less movement can avoid that. I don't know how else you do it without self, self tappers. I just, I don't even know. If I have to do it too many times more, we'll just buy a different trailer. What do you think of that, Kara? A new beacon? No? Okay, no. I'll, I'll fix it again, I guess. Speechless. Crickets over here. Yeah, crickets. <laughs> that was a hell no. <laughs> One eternity later. <sighs> Finally finished up. Hopefully I don't have to get back under there for a while. It's just been a fight since we got the trailer. I think this should hold up and fix our problems, but you never know. As usual, we tried to save a little money by doing it ourselves. Comment down below if you've ever had to fix the underbelly on your trailer or what's that one thing that just is constantly going wrong with your trailer. As always, like, subscribe, all those sort of things and enjoy your weekend. Thanks.